our office and our um, production facility. We just have this set up here because every so often we'll get walk-ins and stuff like that, but it's not a real big retail business here. Uh, we mainly wholesale. Okay. That's 99% of what we do. Okay. Um, but here we actually make all our handmade paper. We don't make this paper here. This paper is made for us in the Midwest. Okay. Basically what we do is we source the hemp out of Canada. We have it made into pulp. We send the pulp to a mill, and the mill actually makes the paper. Okay. So it's a big paper mill. So it's okay. So you source the herd, it's Canadian herd. Right. And then, okay. Yeah. And then they ship it to the mill, and yep. the mill yep. pulps it. Okay. Yep. It's, it's expensive to make. Um, the other thing is, is that right now, I mean, all the paper mills, basically, all their equipment is designed and was designed for tree pulp. Hemp pulp is a little different, and so it's a little dicey because hemp pulp is a little thicker, okay. and so it doesn't drain as well, and it also tends to clog up all the filters. So it's a more expensive process because they have to kind of babysit the making of the paper. So as far as I know, we're the only ones that manufacture this kind of paper. But like tissue paper, toilet paper, it's, it's, a, it's a similar process, but, a little, but with hemp it's easier to make tissue and toilet paper than Most likely paper. because you're probably using you know, a, a more or a less concentrated. So, in other words, it's it's probably more watered down to get the the, the tissue. Okay, of gotcha. So you don't have as much clogging. Right. Okay, gotcha. This is post consumer. So okay. this is what you would normally put into your blue can. It gets processed here in the states, basically at a um, a, a mill in the Midwest, okay. in Menominee, Michigan, actually, and uh, they de-ink all of this all the paper using hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So it's a really clean process. Organic, yeah. Now all of the paper east of the Mississippi gets processed in a couple of different mills in the US. Everything west of the Mississippi goes to China. Really? Yeah. Because I mean they need they, they're the biggest manufacturer of paper. Okay. So and and most paper nowadays has to have a uh, recycled content, so they're dying for paper, and so they're the ones that pay the most. And they de ink it using any caustic chemical they can because they, they want it quick. Okay. So, but yeah, that's so that the recycled feed goes to China or just the, the sorry, the, the recycled product? Oh, the, the, the actual, the yeah, okay, it gets bailed up and, okay. and goes on ships. So, that's one of the, the products that actually we export back to them. Interesting. So, that's how the containers get back to them. So. Anyway, and then this is cotton linter. So cotton linter is the byproduct of making cotton. So what they do, in both cases, they're going to compress it, and, and this would get sold to even a regular big paper mill. Um, it's, it's how they sell it. They, they compress it. And so it's really lint, compressed lint. Okay. And so what this is going to do is going to give the paper a little bit of soft feel to it. And you can see in this bucket, this is old pulp, but it's had seeds in it because we grow, we put seeds in our paper and so the seeds are sprouting. To give it texture or just to... No, no, because people, people will use it to tear it up and uh, throw it in their garden and it'll grow wildflowers. It's a way to, to kind of do something with your paper. So in other words, it's used for like wedding invitations, greeting cards, but we put seeds in the paper, wildflower seeds, vegetable seeds, herb seeds. You know, different stuff. So you get your wedding invitation and then you plant your zucchini. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and so what we do then is we take a couple of sheets of that, a couple of sheets of the cotton winter, goes into this big pulper here. They're going to add water and it basically has these big teeth in it. So it's going to beat the pulp and it's going to turn it into this, which is uh, a mixture of water and so the pulp. You can kind of see it laying underneath yeah. there. Yep going to color it they actually color it in there and what they're going to use is those earth pigments and those are actually the natural colors from minerals in the earth okay so it's there's no dyes used in our paper and those are the different seeds that we use lettuce tomato today they're just doing wildflower so once they put it into the big beater there um, it's going to come into, they're going to put it little by little into the vat. They're going to put it into these garbage cans first. And using this, this is a uh, hand sewn brass mold. They're going to actually pull and put this deckle edge on it. They're going to dip it in the, in the pulp. The pulp is going to stay within the frame here. 
take the frame off. They're going to then pooch it onto a, a sheet of Pellon. And you can see it there. It's, okay. Let's put it on there, and then they're going to put another sheet, another sheet, and they're going to sandwich it like that. Then they're going to put it in the press. And then the press actually squeezes the rest of the water out. And we actually had this press fabricated for us. And what happens is, is the water will cascade over here. They go into this bucket underneath here. There it goes, filters back into that bucket. That goes back into the recycle. So we reclaim just about every drop of water that we use. This we use this um, in our packaging, in our packing. So we we'll use it for oh, filler and filler and stuff like that. Um, we'll also use it when we make hemp paper. We can actually. Um, put this back in the beater and turn it into Watch pulp it again. Okay. Yeah. Pulp so that's why we keep it all separate. This is all the retail type products that we sell. So we would sell these to um, stores like all across the country. So okay. this is all art paper. These are journals. Who's your biggest client? Or some of your biggest clients? Uh, paper Source actually is probably our one of our bigger retail outlets. Most of them are small. I mean, like for hemp products, it's like, I would say, you got somebody like a Santa Fe hemp.